Let's pray together. We're going to use the words of Psalm 3, as written by David, as a framework for our prayer. And if you've been following um, as we've learned our way through this, this psalm, cast your mind back to some of those ideas that we've touched on, that we've tried to take ownership of over the last few weeks. And pray with me. Yahweh God, sometimes like David, I feel like I am surrounded, like I'm outnumbered and outgunned by circumstances and situations, by obstacles that stand between me and where I need to be. And sometimes it's not so much the many as it is the one, that one person who has taken against me that one person who has me in their sights for whatever reason. And sometimes that reason is my own failing, my own, my own fault, my own mistake. And sometimes I'm an innocent victim of someone else's greed, someone else's suspicion someone else's hatred. Yahweh God, I call out to you, simply naming, naming what it is that stands as my enemy, or naming who it is that stands against me. Yahweh God, sometimes it is easy to see the absence of help. It's easy to lose sight of, of you. It's easy to let my doubt, my fear, my frustration take hold and take over. It's easy to hear other voices that are, are nearer and louder and to see other faces that come into sharper focus. Yahweh God, I call to you and I ask you to quiet those voices of doubt, to veil those faces of opposition. Help me to hear and to see you better. Yahweh God, you are my shield. You are my suzerain. You are the king over me, just as I am king over the things that you have given me. You have entrusted me with resources and with time and with the lives of the people around me. And just as I care for the people in my life, you care for me. So I call to you. I call to you to say thank you. To say thank you for lifting my head. For being my shield. For hearing my cry for help. And I call to you to ask that you would help me to be the shield for those in my life in the way that you have promised that you would be the shield for me. Yahweh God, 
I need rest. I need to eat. I need to take care of myself. I need to look after the things that I need for my own life. And I need rest. Sometimes I just need a good night's sleep and sometimes I need that time awake to rest and to enjoy the peace and to enjoy the company of a friend or time alone. When I take time to rest, remind me that no, life does not stop happening and troubles don't go away, but neither do you. And Yahweh God, I ask you for the opportunity and for the courage to rest, to lay down my burdens for a time, whatever that may look like, and to be restored. Yahweh God, when my enemy is a person, sometimes the easiest way for me to identify that is the fact that I find myself unable to pray for that person. I find it difficult to even say their name to you because of the feelings that it raises up in me. And I recognize that that is not how Jesus calls us to live. That Jesus' command was that we pray for those who wish us ill. That we speak well of those who speak ill of us. That we do good to those who do ill to us. And yet I find myself unable to even speak this person's name without gritting my teeth and I certainly cannot in my own power ask you to bless them so Yahweh God I call out to you I call out to you on behalf of the person who is my enemy. I pray that you will heal, that you will humble, that you will halt them in their capacity to do damage. And God, I ask the same things for myself, for healing, for humility, and that I will be a blessing to them and not a curse. Yahweh God, you promised to David that his family would be part of your big picture of real good in the world, of what you were doing. And David understood that. He understood that he was part of something stretching back centuries before he was born and that would continue on without measure after his life had ended. And that he was one point on that very long line of blessing and beauty and good. Yahweh God, thank you for the gift that you give us, the opportunity to work alongside you in the world, to actively make your world better and more like your kingdom. And I call out to you again to say thank you and also to ask you to show me how what real way I can be 
that blessing to the people around me, to the creation in which I live, and to the building of your kingdom on earth. And Yahweh God, we thank you that we can speak to you in our own words, in our own way, from our own hearts, and know that you do hear and you do answer. And we say thank you, and we ask all these things in the name of Jesus, who is the answer to David's prayer and the culmination of your promise. In his name we pray. Amen.